The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern. Welcome to the last segment of our show, The Life You Want is Yours. This is Johanna Kern. Our show is dedicated to living, loving, and having the happiest, healthy, successful, and abundant life. Over the past weeks, we have been giving you helpful tools to build such life. All of us are capable of living the life we want, and it doesn't have to be difficult or hard to build it. Today, we will conclude this series, and Patrick Kern, my husband, as usual, accompanies me on the show. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're doing great. Here is the recap of our previous shows. Johanna told us that In this show, we don't disregard anybody's preferences or beliefs. We only show you various angles and help you to expand your consciousness. This show is meant for everybody, no matter what is your background, age, gender, belief system or lack of it. It is important to us that you will understand that. Our life is our own journey, and only we can decide which route we want to choose, what we want to experience, where we want to arrive, and in whose company. When we get used to a situation that doesn't benefit us anymore, but we have learned how to operate and survive under the circumstances, such situation becomes our habitual safety. It means that we got stuck in our subconscious fears. Remember, you are worth living the most wonderful life. We don't need to be stuck in a stream of circumstances and perpetuate what's no longer satisfying. Contrary to some beliefs, our destiny is not a fixed thing. It doesn't take hard work or struggle to change what we want. We also learned how we create our reality with our thoughts. According to recent developments in science, the structure of the universe with all its laws and forces implies that intelligence existed prior to matter and only because people identify with their body, they believe that when their body perishes, their consciousness will too. We already know from Einstein, Tesla and other scientists, such as Peter Higgs and Francois Englert, who received the Nobel Prize in 2013, that everything that exists is simply energy. What does it mean? It means that everything that is material, measurable by our senses and All that we can only perceive, our thoughts, emotions, or electrons, being a part of one huge energy field, vibrates. And although nobody has ever seen or weighed an electron, just as nobody has seen or weighed an emotion or a thought, they all behave in the same way, affect how we function, how we progress and live our life. Our thoughts vibrate just as radio waves, and just like with radio waves, our thoughts are being sent out to reach, well, whatever they can reach. And what they can reach depends on the frequency of their vibrations, and that decides how our thinking affects the reality, or rather, the illusion of reality, that we create and co-create whether we are aware of it or not. And we compare the latest discoveries in science with what some of the many philosophical, religious beliefs have been saying. While science talks about everything being a part of one huge energy field, many belief systems talk about God being all there is and containing everything within. No matter whether it is science or a belief system that resonates the most with our own inner truth, some things remain the same. 
We are all part of one whole, and we are all connected. Our awareness depends on how we let ourselves progress, as the consciousness that we are. It is all up to us. We decide who we are and who we want to become. We are the consciousness that experiences itself through our life and has a choice to progress or not. Consciousness is what it is, a vibration, a current, a signal. Not long ago, the medical field talked about consciousness as being related to our senses. There is even an existing term we use when someone faints. We say then that the person is unconscious. However, now, as we can see, we need to make a difference between the consciousness of our senses and the consciousness that we are beyond our senses, not being limited to our body. And that is the consciousness we talk about during our shows. We also talked about our subconscious programming. According to science, our subconscious rules 90% of our thinking and behavior. It is responsible for our habits, emotions, automatic reactions, defensive mechanisms, etc. Remember, the subconscious programming which may keep you stuck in unwanted situations in life can be changed to whatever you want it to be. There are tools helping you to do so and we share them with you during our shows. You and only you decide what you want and what you don't want. It is your birth-given right to live the happiest, healthy, successful and abundant life. And it doesn't have to be difficult or hard to change things and make them the way you want them to be. It can be done. As a matter of fact, it has been done by many others that you might admire and even envy their successful and happy lives. And now, it is your turn to live the life you want. Johanna also told us that Have you ever experienced a sudden turn for worse in your life? Just when things started to go well and you were about to make positive changes in life or achieve your goal? Many of us have. Do you remember what happened then? Perhaps due to your own actions or lack of them, or because of some unpredicted events. You didn't reach your goal. You didn't succeed. Often when we look back at such situations, we know exactly what happened. We, ourselves, for some unexplained reason, ruined our chance for success. It could be that we have reached our desired weight and then gained 10 pounds over holidays. Or we have overcome a bad habit and then fell off the wagon. Perhaps we found our dream man, woman, but became distant and mean and that person left us. Or on our way to an important business meeting, we took a detour and got stuck in the traffic. So we never got that job or made that deal. Sometimes. It is obvious that our actions, thoughts, or attitude sabotage our efforts. Realize that whole nature expresses itself through thriving, blooming, and joy. We humans are part of that nature. Our natural expression of ourselves, in its very nature, is thriving and joy. That means that success understood as the expression of who we are, is a natural thing in our life. Not what society pushes on us, labeling it as success, that is, having power, lots of money, fame, etc. Of course, there is nothing wrong with having that, as long as it is in alignment with whom we are, expressing what is true to us deep inside Fulfilling our own purpose is what is the real success we need to achieve in life. 
so that we could bloom, thrive, and be joyous, just the way nature intended us to be. Find out what's in your heart and go for it. Once you do so, unless your subconscious fears or ego drives kick in, you'll never sabotage your success again. You were born to be successful. Accept it. Look into your heart and bring to light what's most important to you. Don't listen to your fears and get rid of your subconscious programming. Go for the real success. You were born to succeed and it's time to fulfill your destiny. We also gave you the next step in the game, Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life, a game that can help you change any life situation and achieve what you want. We will give you the last step in that game later in today's show. Yes, you have arrived in just one more step of the game. You will achieve what you were reaching for. In today's show, we will talk about why it is that many of us live in sorrow and misery while we are all born to thrive. What is the difference between true and false success? What to do when our whole life falls apart? And we will conclude our series of nine shows about how to build, live, and enjoy the life we want. Later in today's show, as usual, I will answer some of the questions sent to me by listeners and readers. Thank you for sending me your questions. I won't be able to answer them all, but I always choose those questions which best represent the majority of the questions related to the show's topic. And even though this is the last episode of our show, I will be still answering your questions, of course, as usual, without revealing your name, but from now on, I will do so on my YouTube channel, where I will continue to share with you many interesting videos also related to our topics about how to build, live, and enjoy the life we want. Look for me on YouTube, search the name Johanna Kern, and subscribe to my channel to always stay updated. I also invite you to visit my blog on my official site www.johannakern.com. You will find there many articles that can help you overcome stressful situations and create the life you want. And you can send me an email when you go to my site. After the break, we'll talk about our today's topic. The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern. All of us want to live a happy and fulfilled life. All of us want to stay healthy and live our life in comfort, if not in wealth. Why is it then that the life we want is often not the life we live? All of nature thrives and blooms with joy, whatever is born in nature, unless injured or destroyed by some external forces, whatever they might be, develops and grows to thrive in its existence. Why is it that we, humans, being part of this magnificent, lavish nature, often live in misery and sorrow? This isn't a political speech, and I will not talk about the obvious for all of us topics, such as wars, political regimes, or those who destroy our planet, polluting our lands, waters, and air. I will not talk about what others do to our lives. 
What I want to talk about today is what we do or not do with our lives. How we can affect and change the way we live so that, like the rest of nature, we could prosper, stay happy, healthy, and fulfill our purpose. Yes, all of us have our own unique purpose on this planet. All of us are born to thrive and live with joy, becoming who we are meant to be and fulfilling our own unique purpose. Once we start living such life, we truly succeed in life. True success cannot be mistaken for anything else. All of us know exactly what we need to truly succeed in life and what is in alignment with who we are deep down at the bottom of our heart. Once we overcome our subconscious fears, once we clean our subconscious from old programming imprinted in us by our caregivers, teachers, society, belief system, or the spirit of the times we live in, we become aware of our true nature. We are able to identify and create in our life what we need to live the life we truly want. True success in life, unlike the false ideas of what success is supposed to be, brings us true happiness and by default takes away all the misery, stress and sorrow we experience while we live the life we don't want. When we stay under the influence of our subconscious fears and programming, striving for what is not in alignment with who we are, there is no amount of money, not enough power in the world, not enough of anything that could make us happy. We all know stories of some influential, powerful people that have been devoured by stress and unhappiness, constantly striving for more money, more fame, more power, more lovers, more this and that, and yet never be able to reach the state of happiness. They are only creating more misery in their and other people's lives. True success brings happiness. False success brings misery. True success is always aligned with who we truly are and what is our true purpose. False success is only a temporary bandage for our misery. Of course, there is nothing wrong with having lots of money or power as long as it is in alignment with who we are deep inside. However, striving for that kind of success is not natural for most of us. Most people want to live a peaceful, healthy and happy life in which they could express who they are in any way they want. We have been programmed to believe that we need to strive for things that have been sold to us, labeled as happiness or success by those who either knowingly or unknowingly made us believe that we have to think and live in a certain way. We have been programmed to believe that we are not good enough or not capable of living our life the way we want. And there are those who have benefited from us believing that. In all human history, you can find examples of how various societies have been and are programmed to live under the impression that people need to pay dues of any sort to either stay alive, healthy, safe, or be able to live a better life. Sometimes the threat to our happy existence reaches even beyond our life. 
and we may fear that we will be miserable also in the afterlife. And so, step by step, as human race, people have been robbed of their birth-given right to live the life they were meant to live, happy, healthy, comfortable, and fulfilled. From generation to generation, these limitations and subconscious programming have been passed down to make most of us imprisoned in the illusion of having to live the life we don't want to live. And it doesn't need to continue this way. You have the power to say enough to all of this. You have the power to change your reality. You have the power to free yourself from all the limitations that work against you, not letting you live the life you want deep inside. Begin with clearing your mind and continue with clearing your subconscious patterns. There are tools that may help you to do so. You can find books and recordings on the market that will suit your preferences and needs. You can also check out my book, 365 plus 1, Affirmations to Create a Great Life, and the CDs that I recorded to be listened to in a deep relaxation state while I am guiding the listeners through the process of reprogramming their subconscious. These, or similar tools, are very effective, and clearing your subconscious of the old programming and imprinting in it positive beliefs about yourself is necessary when you are ready to change your life situation and live the life you were meant to live. And now, let's have a look at what our life looks like when we are living the life we want and have achieved true success, which is in alignment with who we are. We enjoy and appreciate our life and good fortune. We clearly understand our own worth for what it is. We know that we are a unique being living his, her, own unique life journey. We fulfill our unique purpose. Remember, there are no spare parts in the universe, and each of us has a unique story to tell. We constantly progress, raising the frequencies of vibrations of our thoughts. We see all events in our life for what they are, experiences that allow us to become who we are meant to be. We remain in good physical condition as our body thrives happily, being appreciated and loved by us. And if we fall ill for any reason, we are still capable of appreciating our life. We cause no harm to others or to ourselves. We achieve and maintain the state of happiness, which is the state of mind letting us enjoy our life no matter what the circumstances. We understand and appreciate the connection between all that exists. We live our life consciously, consciously creating our reality with our thoughts, yet leaving enough room for life to surprise us with the unknown that we may enjoy. We easily achieve goals aligned with the truth of our heart. We see ourselves and everyone else as equally important, unique parts of one whole. Living our life in such way is a sign of achieving True success. True success means living the life we want to live, not having to live the life others want us to live, 
whatever the reasons may be for pushing on us their idea of success. Because of how all of nature is designed, that is, every single being, whether it is a plant, an insect, an animal, a fish, a bird, or a human being, is unique. The purpose of each being is also unique. That means everything and everyone is equally important in the whole design. Now imagine the vast abundance of life on our planet. Imagine all that has existed before you, all that exists right now, and all that will come to existence after you are gone. All of that has been, is, and always will be unique. We can't ever compare or expect two things to be the same. Every single life is a unique beauty in the entire world. It cannot be repeated, duplicated, or dismissed. We always need to remember how important it is to see others and ourselves as the unique beings that we all are. All of us are equally important and all of us have the right to live the way we want to live. Your life is a unique journey of all times. Now that you know it, start living it the way it deserves. You are the only unique beauty of all times. Start treating yourself the way you deserve. You deserve the best in the world, and it is time you will receive it. Your true success is waiting for you. All you need is to decide to reach for it. Get ready to step into the life you want to live. Find the tools you need to build it, those that will help you to reprogram your subconscious and change your internal beliefs, and then follow the steps to achieving in life what you want. If you don't remember them, listen to our previous shows in the series The Life You Want Is Yours and check out the Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life game on my blog on my official site www.johannakern.com I wish you best of luck in achieving your true success and living the life you want. Remember that your life is your own journey. Its distance is measured by the beauty of your heart. I can clearly see the beauty of your heart. Now it's time that you will see it too. And now I would like you to relax and repeat after me the very useful affirmation we have been using in the past weeks. As we know, repeating positive statements is very important when we are reprogramming our subconscious for positive thinking. It is also important to use them in the appropriate moments so that our subconscious could accept the messages. Our shows have been providing you with such positive environment. The affirmation comes from my book 365 plus 1 Affirmations to Create a Great Life and goes as follows. I let go of my worries. I know life will support me if I fully embrace my own worth. I am a unique human being, one in billions, with my own story to tell in this life. I let my story unfold without fear of the future. 
I trust my own process. I trust that all is happening for my best. Good. Well done, everyone. We will repeat this affirmation again at the end of this show while I'll be guiding you during a short relaxation to help you in the process of reprogramming your subconscious. After the break, I will answer some of your questions. The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern. This is a question from Diana. I'm 36 years old and I'm presently jobless and homeless and I'm scared. I was fired from my job six months ago. It wasn't anything special. I worked as an office assistant, but it paid my rent and food. Presently, I live at my friends, sleep on their couch, and I know that I can't stay here much longer. For some reason, I can't find a new job. Even entry-level, part-time jobs require experience that I don't have. The jobs I can do won't hire me. I can't seem to get a job in my chosen field. I live in a small town, and except for my friends, I have no family and no one that can help me out. I need to find a job soon, as well as find a place to live. I ran out of all my savings a few months ago, and what I'm getting from social assistance is not enough to live a normal life. What am I to do to get back on track with my life? Whenever we end up in seemingly hopeless situations, we need to remember that it is a passing stage. Life is a constant change, and nothing in life is written in stone, except for these things. Our life is our own journey. All we experience in life contributes to who we are becoming, and who we are becoming has to be in alignment with our inner truth. You don't speak much about how you got to this point in your life, apart from letting us know that you lost your job six months ago and that you have no one else in your life but your friends. That's actually a true abundance. Having friends is a great gift in life, and you do have something to be thankful for in your life, your health, your friends, and your past and present experience. Yes, what you are going through right now is not the end of the world. It is another experience that lets you learn more about who you are and what is your vision of the world, your life, and yourself. Whether consciously or not, we do create our reality with our thoughts. If we subconsciously believe that we are not worthy of living a good life, such thought turns into our experience. That is why we need to always pay attention to what happens in our life on a daily basis, since our internal beliefs about ourselves are always reflected in the reality we create. The most important thing, then, to begin with, is to change those internal beliefs that prove to be harmful to us or diminish us in any way. We need to reprogram our subconscious and imprint in it positive beliefs about ourselves. And from such base we can start building up our self-worth and the vision of our own life. In your situation, the first thing to do is to have a good look at how you feel about yourself, then finding out what it is that made you think that you are not capable of living a good life. From what you are writing, I can see that you have settled for something that wasn't special, as you call your previous job, and that you don't believe that you deserve anything better. 
Of course, any job that is in alignment with who we are is a good job. But you, yourself, describe your job as something that let you pay your basic needs. Apparently, instead of finding out what you truly want and need to do with your life, you settled for something else, just as many people do, subconsciously believing that that's the way it is. No, life doesn't have to be that way. Life can be what you want it to be. And that is the life you need to start living. What to do? To begin with, indeed, you need to find a solution to your temporary financial problems. Either look for a job in another town or a larger city, since you have no one that holds you down where you now live, or search deep down in your heart what it is you would like to do in your life and go back to school. Get alone and do it. It is never too late to start being the person you were meant to be. Many people go back to school when they discover what's truly important to them. Or, if that's what's in your heart, after you find a job that will again pay your basic bills, start your own business. Go for what's truly in your heart and treat anything else as a temporary experience. If you settle for life that is not in alignment with who you truly are, you will experience one disappointment after another. You may keep losing job after job. You may fail in your relationships. You may lose your health or all your financial resources. You will not find happiness and ease in life until you live it the way that agrees with your heart. Respect yourself and respect your life. Decide what's your next step and do it. You are living your life. You can decide how you want it to be. Once you choose what it is you want to do, things will become much clearer and you'll be able to overcome any obstacles and live your life with ease. What happened to you might actually be a blessing. See it as an opportunity to quit what didn't work for you and start living the way your heart desires. Please go to my website www.johannakern.com You will find there many helpful tools, including various articles on my blog about how to overcome obstacles on your path and subconscious fears. You will find the Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life game, which will provide you with simple steps to achieving anything you want in your life. You will also find their various recordings in the Listen, Watch tab. I wish you best of luck on your journey. Remember, you do deserve what's best in the world and that's what you can create in your life. The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern. The next question is from Peter. I have always wondered why it is considered to have a better life when you have all the money and fame than when you live a regular, quiet life and not strive to achieve anything big in life. Also, why is it that rich or famous people have more respect in society than regular folks like myself? All I want is to have a peaceful, happy life, and I don't have any big dreams. Is there something wrong with that? I am very happy that you have asked that question, Peter. It is a very important topic since, indeed, not all of us have big dreams in life. Actually, most of us want exactly what you have described, a peaceful and happy life. 
And yes, as long as we are living our life according to what's true in our heart, we do remain happy, progressing with our own speed and fulfilling our life purpose. Let me read for you an excerpt from my book, Master and the Green-Eyed Hope, in which I talk about this topic. I recalled some people saying that we were like an ocean, imagining the huge blue-green depths of it, I thought of us being the drops in the ocean. Of those drops, the ocean was made. Some of us floated on the waves and reflected the sunshine and moonlight. Some drops carried boats and ships, some were constantly smashed on the rocks, while others were jumping up and down and swirling, creating whirls. Each drop has a different fate, a different way of being the ocean, agreed Ramiata. I continued my story and further focused on those jumping, swirling drops. They were very loud by nature, and other drops, when near them, were often pulled into their whirl. Some drops ended up in the center of the whirl, some just on its edges. That picture made me laugh. It seems to be, I said, that we drops keep watching other drops and often come to conclusions about them. And then we say, Oh, look at that drop, hopping up and down. She's created such a big whirl of drops. She must be special. A better drop she is, a true star, a great politician, or a fascinating celebrity. Ramietta smiled. Indeed, Her Menetre, it might work that way. The drops from my story were now observing those being smashed against the rocks, and I could almost hear them talking about how hard and painful the smashed drop's job must have been. That they were probably punished for something bad they had done, or they were stupid enough to work so hard. Oh, we must be so much better than they are, some were saying, because all we need to do is just float here on top of this pleasant wave and reflect the light. We must be privileged, special drops. The master nodded slowly, carefully watching me as I was unfolding the story. His eyes were now the same shade of deep blue-green as the ocean I had created in mind. And that's how we program ourselves and others, I said. While jumping up and down, we, the active and creative drops, cause whirls and big famous splashes. And yes, it's fun. Yet creating a whirl or splash is not the most important thing. That's what I sense. He asked, what was then the most important thing? And with that question, his eyes turned gray, like the statues silently witnessing all that ever had happened here in the Chamber of Seven Powers. I looked at his eyes and the stone figures, and I clearly understood there and then, that every single drop in the ocean had its own unique job. Through that job we learned and also expanded, gaining wisdom and knowledge through our experiences. Every single drop 
was equally important. None was better or worse. Everyone was unique and could not be dismissed, replaced or forgotten. Every single experience of a single drop was the source of wisdom for the entire ocean. And this is the end of the excerpt. We need to remember how unique everybody's life journey is. To find our life purpose, it is important to look inside our own heart. And once we find that purpose, we need to appreciate it for what it is, our own unique expression of ourselves that we are to manifest in the world through our life experience, once we live in alignment with the truth of our heart and our life's purpose, we have truly succeeded in our life. The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern. And now it's time for the next step in our game, Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life. Step 9. Put one IP in your BLA. That is, put one investment penny in your Better Life account. Those who don't know what we are talking about can find the description of the game on my blog, on my official site. The last step will help you to recognize and accept your victory. It is important that our thoughts give us permission to succeed. There are many examples of new fortunes that crumbled overnight, relapses of dreadful illnesses, or self-destruction while having fame, careers, or relationships that started off very promising. Our own thoughts may easily sabotage everything that we achieve. Why is that? It takes some time for our brain to create new neural pathways which are associated with our emotions about the new situation. And it takes approximately six weeks to develop new thoughts and new habits. That's why even when we succeed, we continue repeating the same old patterns all over again. Remember, our thoughts create our reality, determining what we feel and what we do. By perpetuating the same thoughts, we create similar events. We need six weeks of repeating new thoughts in present time to get used to the new situation. You might want to use any of the publications listed in reference to help you with this step or look for similar books and programs. Time frame? Six weeks. This step cannot be sped up. Skipping this step might result in losing what you have achieved. Reference 365 plus 1 Affirmations to create a great life Perpetual calendar for success, happiness, health and wealth Paperback and ebook by Johanna Kern The life you want is yours Program yourself for success, happiness, health and wealth is a CD for reprogramming subconscious which I recorded for you. Your beautiful, healthy and youthful body. Program yourself to enjoy and love your naturally beautiful and healthy body. It is another CD for reprogramming subconscious by Johanna Kern. You may also repeat the following on a daily basis as many times as you need. I have achieved my goal. I am successful, fulfilled, and happy. It is my birthright to be that way. 
I've always deserved the best. And now I have it. You have arrived. You got what you wanted. Get used to it. Because it's yours. Congratulations and good luck. Take time to get used to your success. Use present time while affirming your new situation. Have fun with it. Now you can keep the coins you put in your Better Life account to always remind you that it takes only nine pennies to change your life. At the end of step nine, after six weeks, you might be ready for another round of the game. Keep winning and never forget to have fun. To learn more about fun and easy ways of improving your life, subscribe to my YouTube channel and sign up for my newsletter on my official site www.johannakern.com. The life you want is yours with Johanna Kern. It is time for our short relaxation, which we have been practicing in the past weeks, helping you in the process of reprogramming your subconscious for positive beliefs about yourself. During the relaxation, we are repeating some affirmations that come from my book, 365 plus 1, Affirmations to Create a Great Life. The book contains a step-by-step -step program which I designed, based on many years of experience in counseling people to help them achieve what they wanted the most. You may also listen to my CDs, which let the listeners reprogram their subconscious by helping them achieve a deep relaxation state and absorb the positive messages. Such tools and similar to them are very effective and you can always find on the market whatever suits your preferences and needs. Remember, while you are changing your thinking to be more positive, you need to also deal with your subconscious programming so that it won't sabotage your efforts to create the life you want. And now, if we are ready, please relax and listen to the following. Find a comfortable position, sitting or lying down. Close your eyes and let your arms rest alongside your body. Good. Now take a deep breath and slowly let it out. Take another deep breath and again slowly let it out. Then, while taking in the next breath, let it fill you up from toes to head and add an image to it, a pleasant dim light glowing everywhere inside you. Keep breathing and observing the light inside from the count of 10 to 1. 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax and let the dim light inside shine in every single cell in your body. 
good. In order to reprogram your subconscious for the life you want, you need to learn how to replace your negative thinking with positive thoughts. Your life is not your enemy. Your life is your loyal friend. Acknowledge it. Appreciate it. You are worth living the most wonderful life. Repeat after me in your mind. I let go of my worries. I know life will support me. If I fully embrace my own worth, I am a unique human being, one in billions, with my own story to tell in this life. I let my story unfold without fear of the future. I trust my own process. I trust that all is happening for my best. Good. Well done. Remember, the life you want on the subconscious level is already yours. And now you will learn how to access it so that you can start living it in your day-to-day -day reality. You have learned a lot from your past and now you can be free from it. Any hardship you have experienced has only made you stronger, wiser and more compassionate. Repeat in your mind, I will treasure what I have learned through suffering and struggling as a good lesson about who I am. I know that I am powerful. I know that I can trust and respect myself. I completely release my past and live in the now. Well done. You can move forward now in your life. The life you want can be yours. Make it your reality. Enjoy it and love it. You are a powerful creator and you will get what you want and live the life you want. Now you can open your eyes at the count of one to five. One, two, three, four, five. Open your eyes. Excellent. You've done very well. You are fully relaxed, yet energized and happy to continue with your day. Thank you for participating in our relaxation and for listening to our show. Stay in touch. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Johanna Kern, and go to my website to sign up for my newsletter or to send me an email, www.johannakern.com. Stay on your path and listen to your heart. The life you want is yours. Yes, you can live happily, fulfilled, in good health and in comfort. I know you can do it, and now you too know you can do it. I am keeping my fingers crossed for you. Have a beautiful time till we meet again. Have a good one. 
The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern.